whenever I hear Friday, a massive smile comes across my face and I can't help but move. Doesn't matter where I am, I'm moving. Well, this smile has gotten even bigger because I'm getting the chance to talk to two of the lads behind Friday, the ones who've put massive smiles on our face throughout this whole pandemic. It is hype man, Mufasa. Oh my God, I, I have to admit from the start, I am fangirling here. <laughs> we appreciate you for having us, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to chat. Um, I wanna to chat to you guys about the single. It is doing, it is mega. How do you go from dancing alongside a car to then partying it up on yachts, at pool parties, in the video. How does that feel? Uh, I think it's a great feeling. Um, you know, I think our message that, you know, we try to portray is just the positivity behind it. So, you know, when you have that message, it's a lot easier to, you know, enjoy everything else that comes to us. Hype Man, did you ever think it'd be as big as this though? Like, how did these videos start? Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this big, so it was definitely taking us all by storm. But uh, we just wanted to spread positivity, and our message was, was everyone just be happy. And it started off, like, just doing viral videos for, like, the weekend, and now we're here today. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, not only are you here today, the stuff that you do, you're doing is incredible. You, as I said, you started dancing to this. And now you're working with Ridon, you're working with Nightcrawlers, Mufasa. Mm -hmm. How did that actually happen? Um, so the whole thing happened when it came to the, the single, the new single, just um, Ridon's team reached out to, you know, our team. And at first we didn't really know what to expect. We didn't really have much detail and like what's going on and how the song, you know, was going to be produced or even made but as time went on you know we got more information we thought about it and uh, okay let's do it so that's how I came about yeah <laughs> <laughs> and now it's taking off everywhere not only is the song taking off Mufasa your range well the shirt and the shorts you put them online for sale sold out did you ever think you'd become a clothing icon as well <laughs> definitely not you know that combination is a very uh, odd combination to put together so I didn't really think that was something that would be a hot seller but you know like like I was saying earlier it's the you know the whole message and you know me even creating this character you know is the reason why like I was able to gravitate well we were able to gravitate towards a lot of people and that's the amazing part about this whole journey well, I've been reading some of the comments online and I think uh, one of my favourites, Hype Man, is this man is the cure to the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> like is, that, that. is that how you feel having each other in your lives? Because I think it's really important to have a Hype Man in your life or a Hype Girl. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah. And tell me about your friendship. How did you two get together? You want me to take a lead on this one? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so uh, Mufasa or Jeff, us and I knew each other since high school. So over 10 plus years. And um, we actually, I had actually had moved away. And um, we kept in contact here and there. But then we eventually linked back up through a job. And yeah, hit me up with a job opportunity. And I uh, said, so, yeah, sure, why not? And I noticed that he's been doing his videos for a while before he even put on Mufasa. Um, so I was asking him, you know, we could do something together, but he just said, not where to place me yet. And then uh, one day uh, we all uh, be linked up. I was there for a, a photo shoot and he was there to do a video. I don't know how it is in Ireland, but over here we was at McDonald's and the ice cream machine never works. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so once that happened, um, we were shooting a video and the ice cream machine actually found it worked. And as you know, I was hyping him up and he said my voice sounded actually distinctive from the previous guy that was hyping him up. And then from there, uh, you know, we caught up, started doing some more videos. And then a couple of months later, as you know, we have our hit that everyone sees today. And then how do you follow that up? Because like, it is amazing when you get that hit, right? But then is there a pressure 
to keep producing Mufasa or is it just like you just keep doing you and if it works it works yeah I think um at first when I when we started this whole you know journey of course you know there was pressure but you know we had to really sit back and think like it's more than just us and it's all about just having fun and just producing to our best of our ability and I think when you have a look a outlook as such you're able to create even better content and you'll be you're able to be put at ease when it comes to you know situations so we don't feel that pressure like that anymore well I, I love that it does come from a place of positivity because we've always <laughs> needed it but we need it more than ever right now <laughs> and Mufasa I was on your Instagram and I loved your um your post I think it was one of your last posts of 2020 and it said mm -hmm. 2020 was a very unpredictable year for everyone, but it's a blessing we made it this far. Hype Man and I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for being a part of this journey. 2021, the unthinkable will be done and we will change the game. You can't put that up there and not expect me to ask you what the unthinkable is going to be and how are you changing the game? Uh, it's one of those things where it's like you have a feeling, it's like a gut feeling that you have. But yeah. you don't know exactly what it is, you know. So I believe that the high man and I, we're going to change the game and in a ways that people, you know, won't see it coming. It can be in various ways, but our, our changing the game wants to be, we want to be able to change lives at the end of the day. We want to be able to, you know, have, to, like you said, this is a time where people need it the most, you know, so we want to be able to change moods and all different aspects not not just social media but it could be business it could be it could be anything you know so we're trying to look at it in a bigger spectrum you know and we're tapping into music so yeah <laughs> well music do you know what everybody can connect to music and hype man i love that you like both of you unashamedly have said my smile is my flex it's so good. Like for years gone by, it was all about, you know, I, I'm just keeping it real. I'm, I'm just telling you how it is. And right. it seemed to be really cool to be mean. But now it's like, no, you know what? It's actually really cool just to be happy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also love what you've said, uh, Hype Man. You've said no one, will ever, no one will ever be as entertained by us as we are by us. What's it like when the two of you are just together? Uh, just nonstop laughing, man. Just nonstop laughing. Sometimes we got to really focus just to put the laughs to the side because we're having so much fun and then ideas just come left and right. So once we're in it and we like doing it for everyone else, we just know we're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time. Well, thank you for doing it for us because seriously, this is exactly what I've needed. I was a bit, I, I have to admit, I was in a bit of a funk before I came on. So the two of you on the screen, my face is lit up and all I've got in my head is the song. I am not going to sing it, even though I talk, <laughs> I talk to everyone here by singing it and doing the moves. Can I have you guys doing a bit of it for me? Absolutely. Hey, Mufasa, mm -hmm. you know we finally here, right? Where are we? It's Friday then, then Saturday, Sunday, what? <laughs> it's Friday then, then Saturday, oh, Sunday, what? what? It's Friday, hey, then Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> I, I started fangirling and I'm going to end this fangirling. And, and I'm also saying thank you. Thank you for putting this out there right now. You are what we need. Oh, thank you so much. Thank oh, you. And actually, before I let you go, when all of this, when the world goes back to normal and we're allowed to travel again, any plans to get over here to Ireland to see us and hype us up? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I de definitely. It's definitely possible. We Brit want to reach as much po uh, places as we can. Brit sure. Well, I can't, I'll be at the airport with my sign up. <laughs> 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 definitely. <laughs> we hope uh, to see you soon. So lovely to meet you both. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Thank, Thank you. you.